Get your construction hat on and your resources at the ready. It's time for the 10 best city building games to play on PC in 2019. The foundations for the best city building games were laid years ago with SimCity, but thankfully game developers have been piling on the bricks ever since. Now, now that the custom building analogy is out of the way, we can talk about all the brilliant new city management games you can play right now. Yes, there's some old favourites, yes I see you city skylines, but 2019 has brought a veritable raft of new experiences for us to try for size. Oh, and if you've always wondered why we can't stop playing city building games, Hit the link on screen now and pause it to watch later. For now though, make yourself comfortable in your godlike sky seat. Here are the 10 best city building games to play in 2019. It was one of the quieter 2019 releases back in April, but that doesn't mean that Anno 1800 isn't one of the best reasons to get managing your resources and plotting out streets. Whether you go for the full campaign, that means it's also one of our best strategy games to play in 2019, or head straight to the sandbox mode when it comes to historical building sims, Anno 1800 has you totally covered. There's nothing like watching your town grow from mere shacks into a hub of the Industrial Revolution, and the upgrading and building loop is a lethal eater of your time. Whether you're sending out ships for new resources, or just taking in the joys of your budding city from the new experimental first-person mode, Anno 1800 is one of those building games that makes you feel like you're constantly achieving something. There's always something else to be done, but the advancements in tech and architecture mean that your city here truly moves with the times. Speaking of, it's 4am. Again. When there is more than meets the eye, I will let you know. Ah, the sea. Life on the ocean wave doesn't need to be all cries of yar or even me hearties. In Flotsam, there doesn't have to be any piracy at all. Just the salvaging of endless amounts of plastic and wood to craft yourself the ultimate floating metropolis. OK, maybe it doesn't quite earn the status of metropolis just yet, but that's enough storage sheds, beds and boats for everyone to have food, water and a place to catch some zeds. Flotsam is only just in early access, but it's already easy to see that we'll be waving goodbye to our free time. There's something ludicrously satisfying about sending out your little drifters to salvage garbage bobbing on the surface. And there are even new people to rescue from the scattered islands across the world. Whether you're here to admire the sea monsters or just to become obsessive about fresh water production, prepare to become officially obsessed. Let's move away from the sea, shall we? But not too far. I don't want you to get list-based whiplash. Islanders is the perfect combination of city builder and puzzler. Sure, you have to build farms, buildings and windmills, but instead of worrying about resources or cold hard cash, it's all about positioning. Keep the right items apart and close together and you'll earn enough points to fill that meter and unlock the next island. And yes, you could just randomly scatter your buildings, but you're not that kind of monster, are you? The lovely minimalist yet bright art style means you'll spend hours perfectly placing the most productive cities. And who cares if you unlock the next island already? You're going to finish what you started, darn it. Beautiful and fulfilling, if you're sick of the stressy needs of the standard build em up, Islanders is the perfect getaway. And relax. If you cut your teeth on SimCity 2000 back in the day, you'll feel right at home with the pixelated grid delights of Theotown. Just look at it, it's like you're gazing at your monitor from 1993. Just try not to think about the face that was reflected back at you then, no? Eh? Anyway, Theotown is the full PC version of the Android game, but without any of those pesky in-app purchases. And it might look simple, but this has all the depth you want without any of the irritations of more complex city builders. From power-hungry citizens to an incessant desire for better roads, Theotown is just as gently demanding as you'd hope. And no, it turns out that even a quarter of a century later, you'll never get sick of the satisfaction of watching water pipes thunk into place and mapping out perfectly blocky colourful zones, all to watch your city slowly evolve. With great towers, 
come great responsibility and all that? Looking for a true historical experience? Well, if Anno 1800 wasn't far enough back through the mists of time for you, Dawn of Man is about as early as you can get without building houses for dinosaurs, which, incidentally, I'll have more of in a further entry. Madruga Works Construct Em Up is exactly what you'd expect from the title. It's your turn to take man from the Stone Age all the way to the Iron Age 10,000 years later. And of course, there's plenty of blood, sweat and caveman tears to get there. Thanks to no one having invented Deliveroo yet, you'll need to hunt for food and skins, gather resources and forge weapons for when the inevitably angry other humans arrive. Maybe it's the whole start of mankind thing, but there's definitely something satisfying about watching your tiny settlement grow into a self-sufficient miniature village, complete with megalithic statues. Can I make a it rocks pun or am I 20 years too late? No. Okay. Yes, we know it's on a lot of our lists, but if you can think of a more evolved, sprawling and satisfying city simulation game than City Skylines in 2019, please put it in the comments below. It would be great to play something else for a change. Anyway, you can learn a lot about someone when they're put in charge of a town, can't you? Whether they've got a passion for a grid system, where everything must be perfectly spaced, or a strange obsession with concentric circles. Look at City Skyline's DLC options, and this building sim is frankly unrivaled when it comes to upgrading your construction potential. Sure, there's natural disasters for when you get the inclination to direct a Roland Emmerich movie, but this year alone, we've had the game's eighth big expansion as it branches out into university education. The campus expansion lets you build huge learning hubs for knowledge-hungry students, complete with football teams, cheerleaders, and that customary hat throne. So it turns out that Waterworld-style games are a little bit like buses. You go years without a single floating city builder, and then two come along at once. Just like Flotsam, buoyancy depends on your hunting down resources on the ocean wave in order to grow your floating town. But after spinning your raft and watching those nice salvaging animations, things get a little, well, different. There's the risk of fire, for one thing. Lots of your constructions are labelled as potentially flammable. And should someone spark up an illicit cigarette, everything will start to look a lot like this. Let's not talk about the watery irony. Flames aren't your only problem though. While some survivors will happily join your floaty town, others are less willing, and it's essential to build barracks to guard against floating pillagers. Win these oceanic wars and you can continue on your merry way. Oh, and yes, if you don't think there's enough food to support new survivors, there's always the option to make them lunch. Enjoy. You can try and say that Jurassic World Evolution isn't a city builder, but you're going to have to say it to the dinosaurs' faces. And if they refer you to me, then I'm just going to tell you that this is my list and I can do what I want. It airs further into management sim than any of the rest of the games in this video, but Frontier's zoo sim with bite does require you to keep on top of a fully functioning ecosystem. Hotels, gift shops, restaurants, you name it, if a tourist needs it, you'll need to build it. And just like in any other city sim, natural disasters arrive to test your abilities to weather. Well, weather. Except in other building games, you don't need to deal with a second bout of prehistoric natural disasters making their way around your park on two claw-clicking legs. Oops. Sometimes the endless cash flow spreadsheets and resource management can get a little bit too much like real life, can't they? Don't worry. Build understands you. It knows that when you want to construct a city or a farm or a castle, you might want to do just that and not worry about exactly how much wood or smelted iron or souls you'll need. The PC version of the aptly titled Pocket Build, this isn't a city sim in the purest sense. Instead, it's an enormous sandbox of bits, hundreds of items to clip together to make a fully functioning township that just isn't screaming at you to build a hospital before everyone dies of cholera. 
and you can play cross-play between the mobile and PC versions of the game. Relaxing, peaceful and without a single objective in sight, Build is pure construction and imagination. A perfect holiday from the demands of the rest of the world. And hey, even if you don't stay for too long, you know it's always there, just waiting for you to come back and just, well, build. If there's one thing that some city building games struggle with, it's personality. But that's just not an issue in Tropical 6. This smart, sunny, banana republic building strategy game is like an eccentric, cigar chomping autocrat. One minute you're laughing along with the zingy presentation, the next you're rigging the vote so you can stay in power. It's what the people want, honest. They just don't know it yet. And Tropical 6 is a great place to start with the series, because everything is scaled up. Your authority now stretches across massive archipelagos, and you can manage multiple islands. And some previous well-loved features also return, such as the ability to make speeches full of promises you can't keep. Insert your own, like a real politician, jokes here. It's a triumphant sequel to a brilliantly left-field series, perfect for anyone who wants to build nations, not just cities. I accept the nomination for another presidential term. So that's the 10 best city building games you can play in 2019 on PC. Let us know if we've missed your go-to construction sim in the comments below, drop us a like if you approve of our resource management, and subscribe to Logitech G for more lists just like this one. If you do already subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell so that you know when our next video lands.